Alright, today we're going to talk about ascending heroes and how to ascend a hero without losing heroes you might need for later. I'm in the thought process of I need pretty much all the heroes. I need the gatherers for gathering, I need certain heroes for certain groups. So it's really hard for me to destroy a hero that I might need later. But first I want to talk about the reset. So the reset option only resets your hero down to like level one. So it would give you your memento coins and your experience, but it's not gonna give you all the heroes that went into your character. Disassemble, I just keep this on auto disassemble and I suggest everyone do that. Um, this just auto disassembles the little heroes that you won't need for anything. They're just food. like. Andrew. You will never be able to level him. It's, he's just basically food for shards. And when you do that, it makes these little green things that you can create heroes with that you'll actually use. The last one is Revert. Revert will actually give you your heroes that you used to create that character, but it does cost some diamonds. And it, you can look at these heroes and look at what I put into them. But as you notice, it's not very many heroes. You can only break apart your shards. And what I mean by shards is if you look at any of your groups of heroes, you have heroes with levels and you have heroes without levels. Your heroes with your, the levels are your main heroes and these ones are your shards. See how it says Cindy's shard? Those are the only ones that you can just revert. So I can revert this shard, but I can't revert this hero. But you can see what I put into these shards. For this character, I just used himself. This one, I used the four of himself that was required, and then um, just this guy, same guy. You see how it, I, it's a bunch of just one character? Because for every group of heroes, there is characters that you get a lot of and there's characters that you will get hardly any of. That's what you want to use is the heroes that you get a lot of but you don't actually want to level them. I mean, I do want to level Cindy. She's a gatherer so I do want to keep her. But if you see all the characters that are in green, those are the characters you're going to get the most of. And then the characters in blue would be second most. And then the characters in purple, you don't want to use them for leveling at all. So if you can notice, I used a lot of Cindy. I used Braum to level. I used Matthew, Ivan, Cloud. You saw a lot of Cloud. I kept most of Dean because he's a gatherer. Cloud is just damage, which there's better damage people. And then Duke is a good one to use. Winston, because he has the destruction buff, you need him for a wall group, so I don't usually use him that much, but you do get a lot of him. And also Patrick, you get a lot of Patrick. So let's do this. You can choose this little arrow in the bottom right to do your first couple of ascensions. If you noticed, it's the same characters you used to level the characters. It's what you need to use anyway. So I'll do that. And then if I click it again, same characters used, I'll click this in one more time. But once I get to the point where it's mixing and matching characters that aren't the same, that's when I want to start looking at my characters because I don't want to get rid of some of the characters. So if you look at it, you can tell I get a lot of Natalie and I get a lot of the Scatter Chick Cindy. But I like Natalie because she's great against zombies. I'm not going to get rid of Cindy because I have her for gathering. But if I want to level Alyssa, I need to have two yellow shards and I have one so far. I would not use this shard to level her. Because after this, I will need this shard to level her a star. When it doesn't have a specific character in mind, I don't use the character that I am leveling to level their shard. I will use the characters I get a lot of. So, 
I'm probably going to level Natalie because I, and I'm going to use Cindy because I get a lot of Cindy's. I'll click on her to level Natalie. And then, now what about this chick? Doris. You can look into your heroes in the top and look at Doris. Doris is blue. You don't get a lot of Doris's, but I mean, you don't get as many as Cindy and Natalie. So that's about as far as I'm going to go because I'm not going to use Doris on her. I'm going to use Doris to level Doris. So to get to this point where I got had this shard for Alyssa, I put in a bunch of gatherers to level her up, but you can see that she needs another one of her at the top. So let's see, Betty. I really like Betty. She's good for wall groups and she's AoE attack and she's just an uh, all around awesome character. So I will choose her for the first character and then I'll choose my little gatherer to level her. I'll choose her again then I'll choose them. You can make your decisions on the blue characters if you're leveling them up and that's how I get those. I don't sacrifice any of these characters for that one, especially any of the characters with a level. I already have them locked so that I can't even do that, but I'm not going to sacrifice these other characters for her, so I'll just wait until I have another Betty leveled up. When I get to my wildlings, can't really do that much, but I am trying to level Jesse all the way up. That's my goal. So I have to make more Jessies. If you can see, I'm. it goes every other. You need a Jesse and then you need a random. And I'm not going to use the Jessies on the random spots. But if it set, states that it needs Jesse, then I'm going to use one of those. So I can't really do much right here. I do have a partial shard of her. I could click on her and do my two green dudes to make her stronger and then create this shard stronger. And I wouldn't feel bad about doing that. I still have my gatherer. I don't really need him that high. Really the only point of having gatherers higher is so that they're stronger if you get attacked on the mine, but also to increase their load capacity. But it's not as important to me as protecting myself. <laughs> so that's really up to you. And now in my watchers, this character, I get a lot of Patrick and I get a lot of Winston, but they're both also good for the wall teams. So I use them a lot because they're the ones that I get a lot, but I also need to, my goal is to level them. So if you see, I have a shard for um, Patrick down there. So I'm trying to level him and I will on him use his own shards to level him, even if it says uh, that I can use any characters just because he is one of the green characters that I get a lot of. So I will choose him and choose this guy that's basically nothing. All he does is damage, so you can use like almost anybody else in place of him. And then I can use Winston right there. But I would not use my other two blues options, so that's as far as I can go on him right now. And I, that's about it. Basically, what you want to do is you want to try to use the characters that are green to level up your characters that are blue and purple without completely sacrificing the greens. Because, like I said, Brahm is a gatherer, Cindy's a gatherer, Natalie's a good for zombies, but she also, see the zombie slayer? But she also is like AoE damage, so she's good for AoE groups. In the Vidicators, I would use Matthew and Ivan, but also Matthew is a tank, Ivan is a gatherer, so I'm never gonna completely get rid of them, but they're not my top priority. But I still have to use them to level everyone else because they're green. Cloud and Dean, I really don't care about Cloud, but that's just my opinion. But Dean is a gatherer, so I'll keep Dean. And technically, I'm still keeping Cloud anyway because that's how I am. That is Ascension. Hopefully, that helps so that you can know to get stars. I didn't, wasn't able to get a star on anybody. 
because I'm not willing to sacrifice too much in place of losing my other characters. Because let's say I want to level up Jesse and I, I use some Jessies to level her up when it doesn't specifically say that it needs Jesse, then I'm just going to be waiting that much longer when I could use characters that I get every week to level her. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, hopefully this has helped some people. I'm, I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to characters and I don't ever want to get rid of them, but as you can see, obviously I get a lot of Ivan and he's still purple because my gatherers are basically my food to a point. But that's just how I roll. And thank you for watching and you guys have a great day. And let me know in game if you have any questions or if you have any other suggestions for videos. Thanks. You know where to find me